welcome back yet again to my Ramsa only Final Fantasy Tactics run. This is episode four on the last episode. You saw me do a little bit of grinding, get some, some levels raised, some skills points earned. Um, very tough battle. Those, those grinding battles are very tough. Up next we have Dorder Trade City, which itself is very tough because it introduces us to new job classes um, in terms of what we face as an enemy. Uh, thus far we've only seen Squires and, and One Thief and Chemists, of course. Now we are faced with Archers and Mages, Black Mages. These guys, um, very deadly, very dangerous. Uh, so, because of that, I think even though I'm already level 7, I think I might be in for a little more grinding. Um, just want to make sure I am optimized. Uh, never hurts to do a little more, more grinding, uh, especially in a game like this, and especially in a run like this. So I'm going to check out my skill points, I'm going to buy some stuff. I want power break. Uh, I might not be using it immediately because I think what I'm going to do for my grind is I want to grind out as a monk, as a monk, and learn HP restore. Uh, in terms of what the best class is to level up with, monk is very near the top. It has very good um, attack power gain. Has very very good uh, HP gain. Um, the only class that I would say is probably better to level up with is uh, the ninja class because ninjas gain better speed than anyone else. Um, thieves gain the second best and then every other class is basically the same. Uh, but ninjas gain really good speed uh, so that by the time you reach level 99 you could have uh, two or three additional speed points. Um, as compared to someone who just leveled up in any of the other base classes. Um, but the monk has really good power and HP together, which, which is good. Knight, Knight has a decent power and HP gain as well. Uh, wouldn't be the worst thing to, to level up as a knight. But I think for the sake of HP restore counter ability, I really need this because it restores your HP when terminal. Um, so essentially anytime you are at critical health or if you enter critical health based because of an attack, um, you have a chance of triggering a full HP restore. So, um, so that's really, really awesome. Um, HP critical triggers when you're at 20% health. So right now, it would trigger as soon as I hit 18 HP it would trigger um, right now it doesn't seem that valuable but at higher levels at higher HPs 20% the threshold for 20% gets gets higher as well so if I was at um, 200 HP it would trigger at 40 and below which is really awesome um, so any hit that takes me below 40 or if I'm already below 40 and I get hit and still survive, it, it triggers that chance. So I think that is an ability definitely worth having. Um, Auto Potion is the other HP recover ability. It, it does exactly as the thing says. Anytime you have HP damage, you have a chance of automatically giving yourself a potion. That's nice, uh, but potions are only 30. To get it to use auto potion for a high potion, you have to have only high potions in stock. Uh, same thing with X potions. Uh, X potions are worth 150 HP. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Um, but also expensive and not available for much later into the game. So I think the way to go is going to be the HP critical, uh, HP restore ability. So with that in mind, we're gonna we're gonna work as the monk. Normally, when I'm grinding, I like to use my secondary job ability as the knight class uh, battle skill because what I just learned, power break, and I'll also usually get speed break because I can break the opponent's power down to one and their speed down to one, 
and so they'll hardly ever get a turn. They'll get one turn for every seven of mine, or whatever whatever my speed value is, and they'll only do one damage every time they get a turn. So I can essentially grind forever um, when an enemy has those stats. Uh, you could you could essentially master an entire class, an entire job class, in one in one battle when you do that. Um, however, I learned and was already pretty aware that the item ability is going to be critical until I get a reaction ability that restores health. Uh, I really need items to have even a ghost of a chance of, of surviving. Um, he needs clothing because I sold all my cheap clothing and it's just as well because there's better clothing to buy at this stage. There's a second level better leather outfit. I sold all my clothes, but these are five better. And we're gonna help go ahead and just stock up on those. We're gonna use a lot of them. Uh, always, always wanna save, because you never know. Uh, just like last time I grinded, it's going to really, really depend on, you know, just a little bit of luck. If I face six enemies, they're going to they're gonna slaughter me. If I face five, it's going to be a real hard fight, fight, fought battle, and I'll probably lose. If I face four or less, I've got a chance. If I face only three, it's in the bag. So it will just depend. Uh, the smart thing to do would probably be to grind in the Suiji Woods because then it's one, one step away from the door to Trade City, but honestly, I am less familiar familiar with the Suiji Woods. I, I always, always in my normal playthroughs, always grind in Mandelia Plains. Uh, so this is the battleground I know. This is the battleground I'm going to grind in. gonna go right here. I learned in the last one that this is a little too close if there's a chocobo. So let's let's stay as far away as we can but also near enough that once they move I'll get a, t a chance and be able to launch the first attack on them. Uh, depending on my speed value I've leveled up a little bit. My speed might actually be enough that I get a turn first but I'd still rather be this far away and I can dictate um, I can dictate the encounter a little better. Already got four enemies. This is not looking good. Uh, it's probably at least five, maybe six. Uh, it is five, so we got a chance. The other, the other thing definitely working against me is the chocobos. Mm, that might be a good, a good reason to to grind in Sweetie Woods because I believe chocobos are less likely, perhaps not at all likely. Um, he's a Leo though, so we got good affinity, but that also means he's going to hit us hard. He's a Leo. Capricorn, no affinity. Or maybe a negative affinity. I can never, I can never remember which ones are the negative, I only remember the positive. Uh, yeah, okay, the, but the Cancer and Capricorn, both bad. And I do remember the best and worst is Libra. Okay, so bad affinity with this Red Panther. I think, yeah, the thing I gotta do is just wait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lure the first chocobo, the one on the right. I'm going to lure him to me by offering him an opening, and then I'm going to lure him into the corner. Because um, anywhere I go, if I go here, I'm risking counter attack plus an attack plus an attack on the side. Uh, so I, I really don't want to attack first, even though I can. I don't want to. 
I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure. Yes. If I go here, he's only got a head on attack, so I got a 20% chance of dodging. Plus, it lures him closer. Otherwise, they, they stay at a distance. They don't ever risk you attacking them. Did I say 20%? Oh, I like to see that, but also. I wish he was not pushed away, because that's going to be a problem for me. Alright, we're going to do this anyway. Nice. Look at that strength. Look at the monk. The monk is a powerhouse. His damage output, barehanded, is basically equivalent or sometimes surpassing that of a knight with the best available equipment at any given time. Uh, it's you know when you scale up or down for the level so in the early game if you level up to 99 as a monk they do ridiculous damage like end game damage so uh 85 percent let's do this i really wish i could check the movement abilities i think i'm safe but i'm gonna look this way just to be sure good shape. Uh, I'm going to retreat to the corner and use an item. I don't want. I'd rather the chocobo hit me first. Um, Echo, the, the red panther here, he's got a chance. Uh, he might decide to, to use poison on me, which I don't really don't want. I'm just gonna wait. Something's nagging at the back of my mind thinking I may as well just use a potion while I can. But man, two two HP points is not is not necessarily worth worth it. I don't think. And yes, I know that's redundant. HP means hit points, so HP points means hit point points. Don't poison me. Twenty nine percent. Do not work. Oof. Counter, counter, counter. Nice. That. We can deal with that. This is looking good. This is so much easier than my first grind. this thing out. Because it's really not worth it to, to get a hit in and then risk having two or three attacks or more against me. Uh, it's, it's just not worth it. You can take them one at a time in the corner. And that's the man I wanted to see. If I get a counter, I can finish him one in one. counter but I can cripple him he will take uh, he'll take the crystal but at least that sends him a message 
Hey, and no chance for the crystal, baby. That's what we like to see. still at that early stage, that little sweet spot where their attack values are still under 7. When they hit 7 and more, 8, 9 especially, they start doing ridiculous damage to me. But they're at 6s still. Um, but when they start leveling up with me, they, their levels scale. These, these battles are going to get a lot more interesting and a lot more difficult. Pushed him back far enough he can get the crystal. That was not ideal, but it was it was always gonna be the case that one of them was gonna get the crystal, so I'm not that, that annoyed. And now I can definitely finish this one. This is where if I had power break it would come into handy. I could power break this guy, uh, speed break him even if I had that ability, and well actually come to think of it that doesn't really help much for, for grinding because I would have to power break myself which I cannot do unless I have another party member so never mind that. Uh, that's why in one of the earlier videos I said I wanted to learn frog. Because this will turn an enemy or yourself or any ally member, anyone you target, it will turn them into a frog. And I can turn myself into a frog that does minimal damage. I just have to be sure that my HP was sufficiently higher than the enemy's HP before I did that. Uh, because otherwise they could overpower me easily. Because uh, you're basically trading blows one for one and... Yeah, it's a little bit risky when you do that. That's, that was easy enough. Uh, a good amount of JP earned. Uh, a little bit of level uh, experience earned. I might grind again uh, after we go shopping for job abilities. can't get HP restore, but what I can do is get Chakra, which is going to enable me to say goodbye to items and say hello to battle skill. And eventually I want to go back and learn speed break too, but power break is the main one for this run that I need. Um, Chakra is amazing and it heals yourself and anyone in the surrounding area as long as their height is the same level as you. Um, restores their HP and MP, which is hugely useful if you have a mage uh, who is burning through the MP. Uh, that's why I never use, uh, never use ethers because you got chakra and it's free. Uh, I think, yeah, 
while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get some shields for my friends. Because I could not afford a shield. Check out what other items they got for sale. I uh, don't really need to top off my potions because I think... I think we don't need them much any longer. I'm going to go ahead and save because we made some good progress. A battle one is always worth celebrating. I'm uh, going to try to get to the other side. If I end up in a battle, that's okay. I'll deal with it. And we'll deal with it. I'm, I'm less familiar with the, the enemy... enemy uh, potential here like in terms of like where I should set up I do know in this in this mode in, in this side of the screen no enemy can reach me in one turn so I'm gonna go ahead and set Ramza here usually in a normal battle I set my crew of five in this five block and I ignore this too uh, and I usually have Ramza in this front position here I think I will do that also thing with chakra is though I could potentially be healing my enemies incidentally like if I back myself into a corner um, that could be frustrating because speaking of which maybe this corner would be a good one to be in because the height difference I don't want to be in this corner because I'll end up healing my enemies and I don't want to be in this corner because I'll end up healing my enemies Oof, three red panthers. I really wish I had Earth Slash right now. The monk ability. Because uh, they are weak to Earth. But, and it's a long range attack. It's very useful. Another reason why the, the monk job class is just hands down it's the best. Uh, it's... I mean, ninja class is cool, throwing weapons, the idea is cool, but it's wasteful and not that much damage compared to just normal attacks. Uh, the long range of it is nice, but you've got Earth Slash. Earth Slash is long range and just as good, and it also hits everyone in a row. Okay, he's got his movement of six, so if I moved here he would hit me but if I move here he cannot although maybe I really should seriously consider uh, retreating into that corner is a Sagittarius good good uh, affinity with me Taurus bad affinity I was going to run for that corner, I should have done it already because now they, they'll head me off. He can move here and block me, uh, which I don't want. Okay, this is risking two hits, but I need to get some hits down. He's also one away from dead. Interesting. If it doesn't heal him enough, I, I should be able to kill him still. Which is very good. Because otherwise I would have got a hit from the Chocobo. Ah, no, he's got 57. I mis uh, misremembered how much he had left. But I could counter. Yes. Uh, just for the knowledge sake, I want to see how much I can heal with Chakra. 50 way better than a potion. I mean, the monk class is just so OP. And there's 
there's no way I can, I can get away from him. Uh, uh, I think I want to go here, though. Don't go around the back. No, he's cutting off my retreat. That's okay. Man, that counter is strong as a mop. That is ridiculous. Um, how much HP do I have? 23. That's a real risk. He's got only six power, though. And he's a Scorpio. No particular affinities with me. Uh, which means he'll probably do... 18. I really don't think he can do 24. I'm gonna do finish you. Use him as a buffer to the back. And very much hope that that red panther cannot kill me. just like I thought and I was really tense thinking I might have got a critical there that would have not been good I'll trade 18 for 50 every round all day every day he's gonna attack he's gonna run that's gonna be gonna give me a chance to run if I need to but I might not actually need to. I might just sit tight because I still got two turns for my buffer. So I'm just gonna sit tight. Although I don't want to get pinned down again because he's gonna come right back. Although he's gonna come back and then I'm gonna finish him. Especially if I get a counter again. If I get a counter again, I think I can finish him. I should have done a little research and seen. Uh, what my base damage is against him. Rather than doing the chakra the first time right away. Uh, no counter, no chance to finish. But his CT is low, so if I wait, I should be able to finish him anyway. Yes. Awesome. This guy's about to expire. We move to the next buffer. This is a way that I could grind potentially infinitely. I'm going to I'm going to exploit this because when I get down to one guy He'll attack me, I'll heal. He'll attack me, I'll heal. Add infinitum. Uh, I think... Oh man, it's not very sporting, but I'm gonna break the game. Uh, I mean, how, how sporting do I have to be? I'm, I'm fighting as Ramza alone. And it's gonna cause my random battles to be ridiculously hard after I do that. So I think... It's well within, well within my, my rights to do that. Alright, I, sh I shouldn't be that scared. These guys are, aren't tough. They both have attack of six. I'm just gonna, uh, let's see, their movement's four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move right there. No. I'm going to be right here, because only one can hit me anyway, and I want a front-on attack. If I push him back, that's not good. Okay. That's good. Oh, counter-attack might actually... Oh, well, now I can always heal, heal the person attacking me. So, yeah, a counter's not going to ruin it for me.
Welcome to the grind, folks. Um, sit back and enjoy. This is gonna take just a little while. and he ran away to where I can't actually heal him. So I have nothing to do. If I counter critical, I could actually kill him, which would really defeat the purpose. <laughs> See, I probably won't grind that far because I, 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 it's not that I hate the idea of making it unsporting, I just hate the idea of making it unentertaining. Uh, I'm gonna grind until I have Earth Slash, Wave Fist, Stigma Magic, and HP Restore. So 11, 1600. I think that will be sufficient. And of course, I always, I'll always reserve, reserve the right to grind further if I need to. Because Lord knows I'm, I'm going to have to. Uh, so this is, this is a good strategy that I've, I've discovered. I say I've discovered as if I'm the first person to ever come up with it. I assure you I'm not. Uh, in fact, I vaguely remember reading re message boards 20 years ago that talked about this strategy. Honestly, it's not the most efficient strategy. Um, the most efficient strategy for grinding is getting the Mystic class, learning uh, to cast Fervor or Berserk um, on the person you want to grind after reducing their power with the night skill power break and then doing the same thing to the enemy if you cast berserk on the enemy it eliminates their counter attack um, and then casting stone or in duration depending on the version you're playing on every other party member that you don't want to be moving and it's much more efficient than doing the auto battle because um, auto battle your characters still move and still uh, try to try to think for themselves a little bit more when they've got berserk there's no thinking no movement once they're next to their enemy they pound them until they're dead uh, they do move if they've got another point of attack but that's why you put your other guys on each side and turn them to stone and one guy behind you so that there's no knockback attack and you just they've got berserk you've got berserk and you go to town but I can't really do that because, I mean, I could I could get the Mystic class, I could cast Berserk on myself, but I'd still be moving around, um, and that's, that's really not the point of this playthrough. Um, one thing I would want is the, is the Toad, so that I could attack um, as many times as I want, but then again, I don't need to because I've got the Chakra the chakra grind ability um, technique not ability so I needed 1600 I had about 300 already um, each action each successful action I make gives me 27 and that will go up as my job level increases It's 30 each time, so every 10 successful attacks, I uh, can't heal him anyway, just wait. Uh, every 10 successful actions nets me 300. 100 would net me 3,000, which 
should be about enough to master the job class. I also thought I didn't even use the power break. I don't need to, but I could have. At this point, I don't really want to, because why bother? If I did that, he'd probably end up trying to poison me instead. He's trying really hard to die. He's running away while I'm trying to heal him. Check on the progress. Got enough for your slash. I don't really need stigma magic. Uh, it is nice, especially if you get poison, something like that. Um, but really, all the rest of them, poison darkness, are the only ones, and don't move, are the only ones that could potentially silence I could use on myself. Uh, but if I had petrify, game over. If I had frog, as good as game over because the only thing that I could use to cure myself would be frog like you can actually cast frog on yourself as a frog and it will re reverse the effect uh, confusion I'd be screwed uh, until I was attacked and then I'd be back to normal berserk I would be totally screwed unless I just won the battle at, in the berserk state and don't act I'd just have to wait till it wore off so uh, it's nice but there's not going to be a whole lot of, ex of times when I need it. Um, the battle in the desert with Balk way later in the game comes to mind. But other than that, um, only the occasional Red Panther giving me poison. And even then I can, I can survive with Chakra because it'll heal me a lot. So I think I, I'm just going to do another 500, not worry about the extra stuff. Oh, I did want Wave Fist. Wave Fist is handy um, for long distance. Earth Slash is the way to go, but Wave Fist is also handy for mid-range distance. So we'll, we'll say we need about 800 more. Uh, it's about 20... A little more than 20 turns. 20 to get to 600. Twenty-seven turns. There's one down. Uh, I earned ter ten experience per action, so that's essentially going to be two point seven levels gained. So two point six after this. So I'll check again when I'm at level fourteen with sixty experience. And for those who may be wondering, the reason I sometimes don't use Chakra and I just wait is because if I've got full HP and the Chakra has no effect on me, it, I actually don't earn points for it. So it has to be a successful action because um, I have to lose HP before it actually counts. But we're going to 14 and 60 experience. I might as well push to 15. Let's go to level 15. Just to round it off. So I had to wait there because I couldn't heal myself. Also couldn't move close enough to heal him because I have to be on level ground.
job level up. I'll get more JP this next turn. I'll get less experience though because I'm not healing myself. I'm only healing him. So I only got 8 experience because I'm level 12 and he's level 10. Um, your experience gains are the, a base 10 plus or minus your level difference of the person that attacked or the person who you heal. Um, so if I heal someone who's two levels below me, I gain eight experience, ten minus two. with the exception that you can never earn more than 99 experience in any given turn. So even if someone is 90 levels or more higher than you, uh, which never naturally happens, but if you're power leveling, that you can do that for yourself um, by bringing in a low-level character into a high-level party and just attacking your own party members or healing your own party members. Um, in that scenario, you would, it would be capped at 99. So it always takes at least two turns to level up. I think what I'm going to do, since I'm going to be sufficiently high level, um, I'm going to grind some classes that are atypical for, uh, just for, you know, atypical in terms of not the most ideal for damage output, but that are necessary for unlocking other, other job classes. Specifically, I'm going to grind the archer so that I can unlock thief and eventually get a ninja um, and so the strategy for this is to bring the class that is weaker into the story battles because the story enemies have a set level cap um, whereas the random battle enemies will continue to level up with me regardless of how early it is in the story so if I leveled all the way to 99 the next random battle I would encounter, I'd be faced with six or five or four level 99 enemies, which would not be great if I didn't have the right skill set to face it. So that is the real reason I'm not planning on leveling much further than level 15 right now, because they, they could absolutely destroy me. Um, I, I really need move plus two, if not move plus three. Uh, to get the bard would be a bit of a chore. I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna do that though. Um, definitely can get move plus two on the way to unlocking a ninja to get uh, the dual wielding ability. And if I got a monk who can move two with dual wielding, that's pretty much going to tear through anything this game can throw at me. Uh, I'll have the battle skill as my secondary so I can dual wield, double hit, power break. So that if I get in a tight spot, I can, I can eliminate, um, I can eliminate just about any threat. Shoot. I'll be able to heal this time though because I took poison damage. Job level up again.
unless he's gone he's gonna go with the poison route which is frankly annoying because because I'm never gonna be able to heal myself ever again uh, unless his poison lands which at 49% is not always a given uh, so I'm gonna have to do a little more damage to him periodically so that I can heal him periodically And that, of course, risks me accidentally killing him with a reprisal. There's the poison. And I can heal him, and then I'll get hit with poison, and then I'll heal myself. Uh, level 14. I said we'd go to 15, but I think I had a, a couple extra turns. And we've got 1450. That's enough for those and Wave Fist. that I think we'll call good. to go, go to Igros, uh, get a bow so that I can use it in battle with my archer. Gonna grind an archer just long enough to just long enough to un unlock the, the thief class. And actually I think I have to be one level higher than that. I think I have to be a level three to unlock the ninja class. So let's do that. I believe it's level three archer, level five thief, or maybe level four thief in the classic version, and a level two geomancer to unlock the ninja. I always get confused between the classic version and, uh, and the, the Vita version as far as the job level requirements. But I do know... Oh, there's the Geomancer. Oops, not Monk. Uh, we want Archer. Must have already done it and just... Just in talking, I distracted myself enough to forget about that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that because I think the the first bow that you get is not a classic bow, it's, it is it is a crossbow, so I will be able to keep the shield. Nice, my default Geomancer has enough for Hell Ivy, which if I'm going to be fighting in... Um, actually, though, uh, if I'm going to be fighting in, in Mandalia Plains, that, that's the one to, to use, although the attack up ability is pretty solid until I can get a uh, dual wielding attack up is solid I might save the points for that because I don't necessarily need the hell IV especially if I have a secondary uh, monk punch art abilities okay uh, he's gonna need a a, a hat as well, but I'd rather go get his rather get his bow first. And yeah, there is no long bow available early game. Uh, the damage output early game archer is so pathetic. I don't need any of those. Is there anything I want to buy for later? I've already got shields, I've already got bow, I've already got sword, I've already got knife. Okay. Definitely going to save it. Um, I've told you before in past streams, uh, in past recordings, I'm not, I'm not going to save scum. 
if I get a random encounter right now, I'm going to fight through it. Even though I don't have a hat, I'm going to fight through it. Um, let's see what happens. We're going to fight. Uh, no saves coming. Uh, if I do die, I reserve the right to start over, but um, I'm going to give it my best and we're going to... Uh, we're gonna have a good chance because I got really awesome monk skills now. Although I forgot to put the counter HP critical. But then again, counter tackle is is very useful. So I still can restore health with punch arts. I do wish I put the counter um, HP up on. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna do fine. Chocobo. If we get some red panthers, they are going to die to the earth slash so quick. Uh, not as quick as they would if I had a, an actual monk, but they are weak to it. And he has a bad affinity, yet, well, good affinity for me. Bad for him because he's going to take extra damage. Uh, these chocobos could, could cause a problem though. Oh my god, the damage output for the for the archer is so pathetic. Uh, 42, that's nice. Three hits and he's dead. All else falls, I can hide in the corner and heal every turn. Uh, it won't be the most interesting to watch, but it is a strategy that will work. The good thing about Earth Slash is it won't trigger anyone's counterattack either. So even if they're right up in your face, they will not counterattack you. He's got a CT of 24. I was wondering if I needed to wait so that I can finish off this Red Panther. Uh, but I don't think I will because the Panther's definitely going to get his turn. And this guy still might get his turn in time to heal the Panther. So instead, we're going to retreat to the corner. He's a Sagittarius. He's got good affinity with me. Scorpio neutral. Pisces, I think negative uh, affinity. Oh no, it's uh, Capricorn and Cancer that have negative affinity. I remember now. Got three in a row there. I'm gonna step out here and risk getting multiple hits to give them multiple hits. Honestly, buying the bow was not even a thing that I needed to do because I'm probably going to be using Earth Slash more than anything. That is a powerful hit. And that is very unfortunate because now I'm vulnerable twice again. If I had HP Restore, this could have saved me, but... Alas, I don't. Nineteen percent chance. Keep the run going. Nope. Uh, that's okay. I made some. I made some really foolish mistakes. Most critical of all, not equipping HP critical restore. I'm 
the second one was being too too cavalier to get a three attack in when I could have just waited and used uh, really should have just healed. Uh, that's my old my old mentality rearing its ugly head just trying to get kill everyone as quick as possible. Um, that's that's not the strategy I need right now. I need I need uh, caution. And I need to equip HP Critical Restore. Okay, that's looking better. And as an archer, is there anything I want? Speed save is cool, but it takes too long and it also replaces HP critical. Restore, HP restore. Um, arrow guard is too specific circumstance that doesn't really matter that much. Equip crossbow, no thank you. Concentrate. I mean, it's a nice bonus, but it's not that necessary. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and learn charge plus two. Probably will never use it. And look at that, we can actually buy a hat. My default thing is to go to the items, but I don't I don't need items. Um, and I don't need anything in the fitting room anymore, I think. I think we are ready. Gonna save it. Just for the menu changes I did. And also escaping Mandalia without a battle. And we're into Dorder. Definitely going to grind the archer. Uh, quite a bit in here. I'm going to grind him at least until he is high enough level to unlock the ninja. Um, that's going to be level 3. I think it's level 4 in the War of the Lions Vita, Vita version. Well, I say Vita version is also available on on uh, many other devices. I've got it on my phone. Uh, I said I don't know. Don't lie to me. I know what you did. Where is Gustav? Where? I don't know. Where is the Marquis? Where are you hiding him? Speak! This is your last chance. Where is he? D desert. I see. In Rat Cellar. Wait! Damn, the Hooker Tin. Looks like our trip here was well worth it. I've seen him somewhere. Do you know him, Delita? I saw him at the end of the 50-year war in Egros. <clears throat> Pardon my throat clear. I guess we must fight. Yeah! <laughs> you gotta love the translation. Um, unironically, I love this translation. It, I believe it is far superior to the Vita translation. Uh, the Vita version, War of the Lions, has so many so many good things going for it and it rebalances the job classes a little bit makes it a little bit more uh, more like you're doing the work to unlock the job abilities and job classes uh, raises some job point values uh, but even even better it has the cinematic scenes has extra scenes extra battles it's just all in all it is the definitive version Except this, the original, is the definitive translation as far as I'm concerned. I do not care for the faux, fake, Victorian, weird, 
trying to be medieval but ending up being weirdly Victorian. Uh, it does not work for me. Uh, now I remember. His name is Wygrath, leader of a volunteer army at Cora Death Knights. What? You mean he's the... Yes, the leader of the Death Corps. First order of operations is to eliminate these wizards. Uh, even though I am so far over leveled for this, um, these wizards are going to have the potential to wreck me in like two turns. Uh, especially if they cast Bolt in a thunderstorm. Uh, Bolt when it's raining is super powerful. Uh, this wizard has a poor affinity with me, which means I probably won't be able to kill him in one shot. But, the awesome thing is, I can be eight squares away and still hit him. It's going to take me three shots to kill that wizard, just because our affinities are weak. and ram uh, Algus and the Dewey that can get those guys killed, the better. I said those guys, I mean that one archer. Earth's anger running through my arms. Earth slash. Yeah, boy. Already a level 2 archer. Nice. 150 points to get to level 3. Definitely be able to do that in this in this uh, battle. If I have to, I'll kill Algus and Delita and just grind, but I don't think it'll come to that. gonna run away so I can take care of the knight. I don't want to get overconfident though. And honestly coming up here, well that'll leave me vulnerable to that wizard. I think the smart play is to just A slow play. Even Chakra is weaker when you're not a monk. I'm telling you, monk is the powerhouse class. going to take a 19 hit from a magic spell. If he's smart, he'll move next to an enemy so the enemy gets it too. I think he will. No, he won't. He's not that smart. Uh, that wizard's not that smart either, casting fire in a, in a rainstorm. 
just like Volt is increased in power, Fire is decreased in power in the Rainstorm. Go ahead and take out this wizard while I can. Twenty-two JP per attack. I need about 128 more, give or take. Uh, six attacks should do just about do it. That is until I level up. I need to be a level three archer. Damn it. I really needed Delita to be alive to take that guy out. Lucky guard. That's good. That's going to be tricky because he's going to do 30. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do 24 or 18. The CT is only four, so I might as well see. Worst case, I can still do a wave fist here. Normal attack is weaker than a wave fist. Yeah, the crossbows are, are worthless. I do charge plus two. It's the same value as wave fist. Crossbow is so worthless. Can't even believe I wasted my time buying one. Smart boy. He could have done a sideways attack with 100% accuracy, but he went to the front ways attack because now fire is going to hit both of them. Smart boy. That wizard just murdered his friend. Okay, so I have a choice. I can either attack the guy or heal. If I heal, I will heal for 30 exactly. If I don't heal, he will attack me for 30. And provided that he doesn't critical me, um, I will be able to potentially restore HP with my counter ability. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the corner so no one else can attack me. I'm gonna do my wave fist. And I hope that he hits me for exactly 30 with no critical hit. And I'm also very glad that he attacked Algus because for a half second I thought he was going to hit me and I was very panicked. But I don't think he has the range. Um, archers get a slight increase in their range if they have a higher ele elevation. But luckily he, he didn't get enough boost to hit me. HP Restore, coming up trumps. Nice. Look at that, 90 HP. It's just phenomenal. That's not ideal that the wizard got his MP restored. But... but he's not dead. Well, let's do it. And I cannot believe being level 14 against level 3, level 4 scrubs has been this nervy. This is going to be an incredible run. My goal for this run, ultimately, I know the, the much later battles are going to become really, 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 really hard. My goal for this is to not rely at all on the calculator. I don't want to resort to the calculator 
because that's so boring. Like anyone can walk into a, a screen with the calculator and just wait, lay waste to, to the entire screen. I don't want to do that. I want to actually legitimately win with combat classes, mage classes, whatever it takes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a hit while I can. Oh no. What's the limitation on this? Vertical three. Uh, I figured there was a limitation, but I was hoping, hoping I could still do it. Oh well. And he's too tall, but I think I can still hit him if I target here. Nope. Waste of a turn, that's okay. Still doing fine. And August is going to take the pistol. Only 27. Way fist 36. I mean, the crossbow is such a joke. And if I was a monk, that would have been double at least. Well, not at least. Almost double. Up to double, I would think. It's, it's, I mean, the monk class is just so OP. Check my level progress on my archer. And I need 15 job points to get to level 3. I will get 15 job points simply by attacking this guy. 87%. I don't want to risk not actually hitting him, so I'm going to earth slash for 100%. And that's job level up. that crystal so I can inherit his abilities. I don't I don't think I can kill August in time though. Ah that stinks. I'm gonna try. If I got a critical hit and pushed them off, I could have actually potentially killed him, but If he runs away, maybe he's not going to. What a coward. Shooting me. Ah, there it goes. Ah, this is going to prevent, prevent me from getting a potential job ability inheritance. That's okay. Well, that was the much lauded, much fabled Dorter Trade City with Ramsa only. Um, you can probably see why it's so difficult because even with a level 14 um, Ramsa, he was admittedly a weaker class, an archer. Don't go into this battle with an archer. In fact, early game, never use an archer unless you're trying to unlock the thief class or the ninja class. Um, yeah, it's it was a tough battle, tough tough battle. Uh, you must be the Death Corps. Where is the Marquis? Where is he being held? Tell us. Your boss, Wygref, was here. That was just here. That is. Where did he go? Y you bastard! Say something. Stop, Algus. Damn. Listen carefully. In a moment, the Hokuten will begin to slaughter you. 
That's right, each of you are going straight to hell. Being a thief sure pays, huh? But you're lucky. You tell us where Wygraf is going and I'll let you live, okay? I don't know a damn thing. Watch your language. Never talk to nobles like that. We're not thieves. What did you say? Nobles never change. You think we aren't human. We risk our lives in the war for this country, but you dumped us afterward. How are we different? Birth? Status? What the hell's rank? You kidnap people for ransom, so don't act so great. Kidnapping the Marquis was never was not Mr. Wygrass' plan. Huh? We'd never kidnap a VIP for money. Then who? Who kidnapped Elmdor? Talk. If it wasn't you, then who else would do it? Gustav. Gustav? Who the hell's he? Gustav Marguerite. Captain of the Death Corps. So it was you all. No. We're fighting to beat you. We're proud that we fight for equality. We're different from Gustav. Proud? Bastards. Enough, Algus. So, where is this Gustav? Sandrat Cellar. Sand rats? August may not know what they are since he's not from here. Sand rats only inhabit the Zeklaus de desert north of Dorder. Huh? Was there a village between Dorder and Zeklaus desert? Not anymore, but there is a place where desert people used to gather. Gustav and the Marquis may be there. Yes, probably. What's that mean? Cellar means a rat's nest. Huh? God, I love that translation. Uh, totally unnecessary, those last couple lines, but, you know, so it goes. It's still far superior translation. Uh, emotionally, it gets, gets to the heart of the matter much more succinctly. Uh, but that was Dorder Trade City. I think that is quite enough for this episode episode four of my ramza only final fantasy tactics run i will hope to see you next time next time we're going to be doing a little bit more grinding i think i'm one third of the way to getting my ninja class unlocked so we're going to go ahead and finish out that process next time i just need to level up a thief and get my geomancer up to level two and while I'm on the way to doing that, I can get the Move Plus 2 ability, uh, which is going to greatly uh, help the cause. So I hope to see you then, and until next time, have a good one.